Agents are nothing but a type of sensors. So it's going to sense the environment and it's going to act accordingly. Combine all different modules or small problems to get the meaningful result. So same concept we are going to apply with respect to AI, that is artificial intelligence. So here you will get five questions and from each and every unit, that is of 10 marks each. Dear students, welcome to Computer Science Classes. I am Ravi Kumar K.R., lecturer in Computer Science, Vidya Ashram First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Students, let us start our discussion with the introduction to the syllabus. This is for BCA, sixth semester, and the paper is Artificial Intelligence and Applications. This is one of our subject uh, prescribed by the University of Mysore. So let us start with the introduction to the syllabus. Learning outcome, at the end of the course, student must be in a position to know the historical result of AI or artificial intelligence and also familiar with the basic principles and strategies of AI towards problem solving and understand apply approaches of interference and knowledge representation and learning and understand the various applications of AI. So these are the main aim of this course. So at the end of the course, students must be in a position to gain the knowledge of AI and understand the principal applications and so on. So this is a learning outcome. And in the next slide, let us see the syllabus of AI. So here there are five units. So in unit one, we are going to learn the introduction part of AI. So introduction, so introduction to AI, under that we are going to study the history of AI. I mean, past, present and future of artificial intelligence. Now, you know, everywhere the trending subject itself is AI. Everywhere we are using AI applications in our day to day life. So we are going to start with the introduction to AI that is artificial intelligence history. Then we are going to learn intelligent agent. So what are these agents? Agents are nothing but a type of sensors. So it's going to sense the environment and it's going to act accordingly. So they are called as agents. So we are going to learn intelligent agents and based on different environment. Next also that agent based programs that is structure of agents and we are going to talk about different types of agents like simple reflex agents, model based reflex agents, goal based agents and utility based agents. So this is in unit one, we are going to learn the basic definition, history and definition of agents and different types of agents we are using in AI or artificial intelligence. In the unit two, it is problem solving by searching. The chapter is problem solving by searching. And you know what is the problem solving in general in terms of computer science? Normally we say it is, we are dividing the complex problem into small problems called module. So we are going to solve the entire problem by dividing into small problems. And finally, we are going to combine all different modules or small problems to get the meaningful result. So same concept we are going to apply with respect to AI, that is artificial intelligence. So here, well-defined problems and solutions and example problems and searching for solutions. So we are going to learn the different strat searching strategies. They are breadth-first search, and uniform cost search, depth first search, and all these are different strategies we are using in artificial intelligence. So in unit two, we are going to learn the different searching strategies with respect to artificial intelligence. That is in unit two. So in unit three, this is knowledge representation. That the chapter is knowledge representation. So, it is we are going to learn knowledge based agent. 
So what is the meaning of knowledge based reagent? And under this, we are going to learn different theorems and uh, effective pro propositional model and model checking agent based on propositional logic. See, these are the different logics we are going to learn with respect to AI. So here, it is nothing but the agents, what you're going to learn in unit one and two, we are going to learn the agents and how they are going to work with respect to AI by learning or by knowing the different knowledge techniques or by different theorems. This is in unit three. In unit four, this is learning. So this is nothing but different forms of learning like a supervised learning or machine learning. Now you might have heard the machine learning. So what is machine learning? Machine learning is nothing but the computer or the system itself is going to learn from the data we have given or from the previous data. And by, use, by analyzing the data, it is going to predict the result. So that is the concept of machine learning. So we are going to learn for different forms of learning, machine learning and regression and classification with linear models and artificial neural networks and support vector machines. See, these are the topics to be covered in unit four. So in unit five, this is applications of AI. Now you might have come across different applications in our day-to-day -day life. So all these we are going to discuss with the examples. For example, NLP, this is natural language processing, where we are using this in conversion from one language to another different forms of languages. Next one is text classification, information retrieval, speech recognition, image processing and computer vision and robotics. See, these are all the different applications of AI we are using in our day to day life. So we are going to learn the definitions with different examples. That is in unit five. Now let us see the question paper pattern for the sub paper, artificial intelligence and applications. So this is a theory paper. So theory paper is for 60 marks. So the 60 marks is divided into two sections. One is part A and part B. So part A is a 10 mark question and you have to answer any five. So it is for 50 marks. So here you will get five questions and from each and every unit that is of 10 marks each. And here and part B, it is a two marks questions. So they may ask you the definition and the examples and different strategies we are using in AI. That is two marks questions. You have to answer any five question it comes to for 10. So total is 50 plus 10 from part A and part B, that is 60 marks. So this subject, artificial intelligence and applications is a pure theory paper and the theory is for 60 marks. And this is the question paper pattern, part A and part B. Part A is for 50 marks and part B is of 10 marks. Next, if we talk about the internals, so it is for 40 marks. So total paper is for 100 marks. So 60 marks theory and another 40 marks is for internal. So this 40 marks is divided into different sections. We have internal one and internal two and as well as viva, assignment, seminar and presentation. So all the three internal one, two and viva, assignment, seminar and presentation all these forms your internal that is for 40 marks. So internal 40 marks, theory 60 marks, the total paper is of 100 marks, the subject artificial intelligence and applications. Now in the next slide we will see the different reference material or study materials. One is start result and paternomic that is artificial intelligence, a modern approach that is one of the reference material. Next one is Tom Mitchell's author, Machine Learning. That is the second reference material. Next one is Alien Rich and Kevin Knight and Shiva Shankar B. Neuer. The reference book is Artificial Intelligence. That is from Tata McGraw Hill Publication. See, these are reference books for the syllabus of subject 
AI and its applications. So students, in this session, we have discussed about the syllabus prescribed by the University of Mysore for six semester BCA students and the subject is artificial intelligence and its applications. Now, let us start our discussion with the unit one in my next session. Thank you very much.